you're doing great. Keep up the good work. Just don't do that. <laughs> hey Unbounds, welcome to my bed. I'm Laurel Stovall. My name is Sarah Jane. I'm Brecca. My name is Nisreen. Camille, also known as Cam Reaper. My name is Elle Stanger. I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Soph. I'm an art student at the University of Michigan. What advice about sex would I give to my teenage self? Don't apologize if you want to slow down. Uh, never apologize if uh, you don't want to slow down. Eliminate shoulds and shouldn'ts from the table when you're making any sexual decision. Please use protection. If you're honest in the way that you seek your pleasure, you will have a better relationship with yourself and with the world. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna say, don't lose your virginity to someone who disregards your pleasure, kind of doesn't really care about your emotional well-being, and has really bad tattoos. Some advice I would uh, give my teenage self about sex would be... Having sexual desire doesn't make you an immoral person. If you feel good about something, uh, it's your body and you have the right to enjoy yourself. It is so important to speak up for what you want and what feels good, and you deserve to have mind-blowing sex. Be as transparent and open as possible. Also, don't forget foreplay. That is the most important rule before having sex. It's absolutely possible to have a fulfilling and happy sex life as a disabled or chronically ill person. You just have to speak up for yourself and know what's right for you. And also, it's okay to love girls. <laughs> I wish that someone would have told me that just because you had an abortion does not mean that you should feel ashamed or broken. Do not be afraid to be femme or be called kitten. Sex is and always will be awkward, and that's fine. Lastly, if you have the chance to stand up for someone who needs support, be there for them and you won't regret it.